Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some breaking news in the tech world, especially involving OpenAI, the groundbreaking artificial intelligence company. In this video, we will be diving deep into the recent shakeup at OpenAI, as Twitch co-founder Emmett Shear steps in as the third CEO just a few days after Sam Altman was fired. But before we get into the details, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on new videos. Now let's get started. First things first. On November 16th, 2023, the tech community was shocked by the sudden firing of OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman. Just a few hours later, Twitch co-founder Emmett Shear was announced as the interim CEO, marking the third change in leadership in just three days. This isn't the usual change in leadership. It's a story full of mystery and unpredictability. Emmett Shear, the co-founder of Twitch, is now the boss after some unexpected changes. Emmett Shear shared on X that he thought about it for a few hours and decided to accept the offer to become the interim CEO. Even though he left Twitch as CEO earlier this year, Shear knows a lot about tech and has tons of experience, which is great for OpenAI. Now, why the sudden change? OpenAI has been going through a hard time lately. Mira Murati, the chief technology officer, briefly became the temporary CEO last Friday. Many OpenAI employees publicly expressed support for Altman, leading to negotiations with the OpenAI board to potentially bring him back. Back. Almost everyone who works at OpenAI, we're talking about 730 out of 770 employees signed a letter saying that if the board does not step down, they will join Microsoft. On the flip side, the board accuses Sam Altman of not being totally honest in his talks with them. Whatever the reason may be, the way Altman was removed seems to have caused some trust issues within the company. But wait, there's a twist. Microsoft, OpenAI's big supporter and key investor, jumped in and hired Sam Altman for a new project. Altman, who was shown the door by OpenAI's board, is now working with Microsoft. Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, seems thrilled about this whole situation. He wrote on X that Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, who was an ex-OpenAI president, will be joining Microsoft's new advanced AI research team. This week brought a big surprise. Sam Altman is back as the CEO of OpenAI after a complicated fight for control that surprised everyone in the tech world. The OpenAI team shared some information without revealing their names, talking about the arguments happening inside, and giving us a peek into how decisions were being made. They pointed out worries about the newness of the AI industry, saying there are no set rules, organizations, or official certificates. The anonymous team member stressed that because AI is still growing, there's a big need to think about how safe it is. Late on Tuesday, OpenAI released a statement announcing the reinstatement of Sam Altman as CEO. The statement read, We have reached an agreement in principle for Sam Altman to return to OpenAI as CEO with a new initial board. This new board will be led by former Salesforce co-CEO Brett Taylor, who also chaired Twitter's board before its takeover by Elon Musk last year. Other members include former U.S. Treasury Secretary Larry Summers and Quora CEO Adam D'Angelo. Now, talking about Emmett Shear, who was the temporary CEO of OpenAI for a short time after Sam Altman was removed, he shared on X that he felt really happy about what happened, especially after working really hard for about 72 very busy hours. So, there you have it. The latest news on the OpenAI shakeup. It's a story of unexpected twists, strategic partnerships, and the challenges of leading a company at the forefront of artificial intelligence. What are your thoughts on this situation? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you found it informative. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.